Hello, welcome to this, uh, the seventh video in the series of basic independence for percussionists. Um, <clears throat> hope you've enjoyed the, the previous uh, videos and you're getting something from them. Following on from uh, the last video, this, well, we're going to do two rhythms today, and these rhythms are very minimal. There's very few notes in them. So, as I said um, in the previous video, these are quite difficult because there's lots of space. This is where you go, uh, and panic, and speed up. <laughs> so just be aware of that, that. This first rhythm is just a very, very simple, it's almost the start of a, of a cascara pattern that would build up. But this is just a, the bare bones of it. And it's one, two, e and three, and four, e and one, two, e and three, and four, e and one, two, e and three, and four, e and one, two, e and three, and four, e and. So, sounds simple, very few notes, but that's where the difficulty is. There's lots of space. If we put it with the conga pattern, you'll hear, okay? So one, two, three, four. One, and two, e, and three, and a four, e, and one, and two, e, and three, and a four, e, and one, and two, e, and three, and a four, e, and one, and two, e, and three, and a four, e, and. Okay, so there's that whole beat one where you're not playing any cowbell, okay? Speed it up a little bit, and it goes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and three, and four, three, and four, three, and four, One, and two, three, and three, and four, 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 three, and Then we'll add the embellishments on the Ostinato conga pattern that we've been doing, and you will get this. One, two, three, four. So you can hear it's a very minimal rhythm, all right? So there's a lot of space and that's where we need to really concentrate. Up the tempo slightly and it will sound like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, now. The second rhythm is exactly the same as what we've just played, but rather than finishing 4E, we get 4E and A. Ah. Okay, so just that one extra note. So just the cowbell pattern. One, two, three, four. One, two, e and three, and four, e and A. Ah. Two, e and three, and four, e and A. Ah. One, two, e and three, and four, e and A. Ah. One. And three and four and that. Okay. Now, by having that extra note, we're now make it, making um, the fourth beat this four e and that. Four e and that. Okay. So we've got the the four sixteenth notes in that fourth beat. That would you would think make it a bit easier. It doesn't because you've got four e and a one. Okay, so that you've got that gap straight after the busy bit. So just be really careful. So the whole pattern, the cowbell and the conga, goes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and a four, and a one. One, two, and three, and a four, and a one. One, two, and three, and a four, and a one. One, two, and three, and a four, and a one. Okay, so busy and then space. So just be aware of that. All right, so hopefully you'll get the idea. As I say, the first pattern, we're then just progressing one note to the second pattern. As with all these videos, I'll now play it to a drum groove. 
you'll get this. Pattern one first. One, two, one, two, three, four. tell by my lack of counting out loud that I was concentrating forty and a one. Okay? Uh, sorry, the other way around. <laughs> forty and a one. So forty and a one. Yep. So one. Okay. So there's the two rhythms we're gonna uh, look at today. Hopefully you'll get the idea of them. Don't panic with all that space, especially from what I said in the previous video. Um, you'll be fine. Just work on it. Keep safe. Um, hopefully the lockdown isn't driving you too crazy. Um, if you like these videos, please press the like button. Um, subscribe to my channel. That would be fantastic. I'd really appreciate that. And I shall hopefully see you in a few days with video number eight. Okay, take care. Thanks, bye-bye.